responsible for it. You know the jumping batteries on the Ever Ready commercials? You seen those batteries? Well, we're going to find out about his work, and we're also going to find out how those damn batteries jump. I think, <laughs> I think it's a good idea. Oh, and speaking of Helmut Fischer, Helmut Fischer, may I have that? Thank you very much. Helmut Fischer is the person that designed these. Uh, they may not mean a lot to a lot of you, but these are called Mo Awards. And it's the Australian Variety Artists Awards that they give away uh, every year. And Helmut, being a special effects man and knowing all about the business and everything, made these awards. And it's, very, it's a very prestigious award for variety acts to get. And you may be interested in knowing, Bert, that Helmut's made this one uh, for you. And there's a little pluck on it. Here, wait, no. It's for you. Is that like that? <coughs> yes, it is. It's a Mo Award. That's supposed to be Irene. Mo. Yeah. You know? And down here it says, Mo Award presented to Bert Newton by Helmut Fisher Lovely. for overacting on the Don Lane show. <laughs> Can I thank Helmut? I've, I've seen Don's gold one, which he has in his, his dressing room. I just wanted to, nice? to thank Helmut very much indeed, if you happen to be watching in your dressing room right now. Right. <laughs> Never stops overacting. We'll be back in just a minute with Philip Armstrong. Television commercials are being... Wow. <laughs> Television commercials are becoming increasingly gimmicky and are depending more and more on special effects and props. And one area of special effects uh, is featured in this commercial. I'm sure that you'll all recognize. Look at that. special effects and special costumes for many of the commercials and many of the series that you will see will on uh, television for today. For heavy duty use or ever ready go. There you go. So, uh, would you greet our next guest, please? And he'll tell us how all those batteries and things work, okay? Helmet Fisher. Please. Oh, I'm marvelous, thanks, Good Don. Good to have you here. We just saw that, that little commercial. What is this you brought out here? Yeah. Oh, that's a little present for you. It's a genie bottle. You only got one wish, and don't mess it up. One wish? Yeah. What do you do, rub it, make a wish? You rub it three times, or one time, it's up to you. Depends how big the wish is. Yeah? There's nothing happening. <laughs> I think you blew it. You overloaded us. Huh? What? <laughs> You have a lot to bottle. You blow your wish. I blow my wish. Sit down, helmet. You're going to get it. <laughs> well, that's like, that. How does that work? Oh, it's very simple. I mean, see, it's a little device. I wouldn't it's, have been unhappy if a girl would have come out of there or something, you know. But I, I mean, that you miss your chance, though. Yeah. There's a little device. Yeah. Uh, it's a battery driven. There's a smoke pot. And there's a little micro, uh, mercury switch. Mercury, yeah. So when you dilt your bottle like that, well, oh. see? Oh, I see. It's set up. It's a little bit much smoke. Mm. So it's... Oh! <laughs> it's a bit of, a bit of heavier charge, Tom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear. Do you believe that? And all the smokers in here. Let's have a look at some of these things. This is, uh, yeah, I know obviously that's not supposed to be rock, but that's, that's one of the things. Uh, is. What a is film this rock, actually. Uh, you news that you can hit someone on the head and see what's happened. It's a little bit bleeding. <laughs> you got nothing is that, oh, wait a minute, wait, wait, we'll get a towel for you. Wait, wait, wait. That's right. Stay there, Helmet. I'll tell him it's my son he hurt himself. <laughs> Stay over here. It's okay. It's a bit <laughs> cool. Yeah, what so, is, so what? So let me see it. That is oh, I see it's blood. It's loaded with blood. So oh, you put the you plastic little... blood in it, and it's a foam rock. Yeah, is that how they do it in the movies? Here you go. Yeah, you go, when you got to be the, a fight scene, you know. Oh, I see. You hit somebody with the rock, so and that makes the instant blood and all that. You couldn't kill, kill the actor. Yeah. So that's a way out. <laughs> that's, that's, that's very nice. <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's have a look at um, 
at some of the things that you have done and some yeah. of the work that you've done. We have That's a piece right. of film here. We'll take yeah. a look at it. You can tell us what it's all about. Now, who, what is that this? That one here? is Kevin Goldsby. It was uh, for for white um, uh, for Stepsy or uh, court reel or something, and he took. I met him to a Frankenstein. Uh huh. And he took some vitamin <laughs> capsules and the screws. They pop off. Feel so. Well, what, what are you doing here, though? Here, that's a plaster cast. Yeah. And here, I'm happily working on Kevin, poor Kevin Goldsby. Yeah. He looks like a monster, <laughs> that one. I see. Those are big little lemonade bottles. They're 15 feet high. Oh, and I see. And they were for lit advertisement. Uh -huh. And that's me in a chini bottle. Oh, I see. Making and that's the big inside. bottle, and you had to make them that big. What are you made out of those things? They're all out of fiberglass. Uh-huh. How long would it take you to make something like that? I had a big rush on that one. Rush, rush, 10 days, actually. Yeah. Day and night. And what's this that here? That is the furry bird, Tomonelli bird, or a Titan bird. I think in, here in Melbourne is... Uh, oh, the Ford, the Ford Company? It's, it's a super bird, no? Oh, right, yeah. And is that it's it? the making of it, no? Ford, Tomone Tomonelli Ford, yeah. Uh-huh. And what's and that? And uh, that's an eyeball. Uh-huh. I see. You put the gun. Oh, and here it that's is the uh, in action. That's the one, uh, yeah, on, in Emory Park in the racing course. It's Ferdi Tomonelli Ford. Hmm. Okay, and what are we doing? That one is a model city. Uh, actually, it took me six weeks to make that one. And what that's a Prager Y building. Oh, uh, I see. That's the, the side of a building, like if you yeah, put Yeah, oh, there are four yeah. sides, and the giant walks through and crush the buildings. No? That's only six buildings that are really prepared uh -huh. for. Oh, so there's a, whole, no? there's a whole city. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's only a, a part of a city, and a giant. The idea was a giant walks through, hurt his foot, and he sits in front of a chemist shop. Uh, a disinfective spray, and he sprays it all over him. Oh, I see, because he hurt his foot on yeah, that Yeah, he hurt his thing. foot on it. And that's for a oh. religious film for Asia. It's uh -huh. that Virgin Mary we filmed that with uh, 1400 frame, and that one was a breakaway window. And what is this here? That's for Martins. It was for an advertisement uh, with Frank String and, and an airship. <coughs> mm -hmm. And uh, that's a finished item. Yeah. Oh, I see. So it gives a great dimension. And that's any how that was 27 feet high, only 80 feet long. That also. would be for Hogan's commercial. With Paul Hogan, yeah. Good stuff. I bet you didn't realize he did that much, huh? Isn't oh, that good? Yeah, yeah. yeah. lovely. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see. Amongst all the other things here, we've got uh, something that looks yeah, like chocolate, but obviously chocolate. isn't it? And so, soap and. In the past, uh, I mean, now it's a bit difficult. I mean, uh, consumer fear, they're very strict now. Uh -huh. uh, but normally you don't get away in, in special effect with uh, certain products because they melt in front of the hot lights. And uh, oh, so you have to find uh, some sort of way out, uh -huh. stick as good as possible to the product uh -huh. uh, without... Uh, and those are some very special bottles, actually, what I... To only, um, I think I'm the only one in Australia to make some special bottles like that. What's that there? I'm sorry, Don. I did not to do that. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. It's a lot of fun. I guess if you knew if it was coming, you'd probably balk. I'm glad you didn't tell me what you were yeah, going to do. No, That's no, a wonderful it's experience. It's I a just special had. resin. It got very soft edges. You even can eat it. No? <laughs> oh, I see. You can. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's healthy. Get the wagon for helmet. Will you please? I'm going to take him out of here. Okay, let's have a look at what we all want to know about. Okay, I want to take a look at the uh, at all the right. commercial. Okay, this is the uh, the ever ready commercial. The ever ready right? one. one. Yeah. Okay, now there's the batteries first. Now, uh, to make a commercial like that, uh, I mean that's already run three years. Yeah. Uh, I mean you need a very good teamwork. And how do you how do you do that? How do you make the batteries go up and down? Yeah, so? they are uh, with some special device, hidden devices. Uh, actually, the hidden um, from underneath. Uh, operate with an uh, electronic timer. You mean there's something timer on the back device. of them that holds them? Yeah, it's with a, a solenoid type. Yeah. It's attached, hidden from... So the camera, I mean, actually, he works out his angle, mm. so it's not be seen what the audience doesn't have to see. On. Well, I could understand that with the little battery. So there's something in the back of the little battery, and they shoot from an angle so you can't see the pin yeah, in the back, and yeah, it moves up yeah. and down. Mm. Well, how did you do that with the radios and the, uh, and oh, the lights? They all, all the... they all got different devices. Uh, naturally, I have to 
uh, some parts are very heavy, so you need some heavier uh, machinery, so driven, motor driven, and all with a timing device. Uh -huh. But they all support you know, very smartly hidden in a certain camera angle, and Rosswood production got tremendous. Well, here, yeah, there's the light, for example. Now, what's making yeah. that light move up and down? Oh, actually, I was lying on, underneath in the jetty, under the jetty, yeah. and operated with a little uh, moving uh, motor, like a running eccentric motor. No? Yeah, it's but you don't see any wires or anything with that. Yeah, because it's see in a certain angle. It's in a certain angle, so the camera so doesn't like show it. Oh, no? I see. I mean, it's hidden somehow. Some is made with uh, with air, hydraulic. Some made with uh, with motor. Yeah. Some even manual. It mm. depends what problem it is. There are always different problems. Every every job is. Sounds, sounds to me like you're keeping most of the secret to yourself. Oh, I mean, they're not really secrets. They only you have to work it out and solve mm. the problem. And naturally, a teamwork with a good camera team. The cameraman get a very good credit as well. And, I mean, it's a very interesting field. Thanks for coming in and telling us about Don't it. Thanks for talking to us. Nice to see you. Helmut Fischer, ladies and gentlemen, when we come back, Cheetah, that beautiful girl duo, is going to sing for us. Ever-Ready Red for heavy-duty use or Ever-Ready Gold for extra heavy-duty, you're asking for all you can get. Real, red-blooded, long-life batteries. This is the Ever-Ready Museum of the Future. One day, we'll each carry a personal telephone. Mothers will write letters with a direct voice to typewriter. Fathers will calculate with a risk computer. And, for the children, these appliances are in the future, but they're all made possible by portable power. The same power you use today. The power of ever-ready, real red-blooded, long-life batteries. Ever-Ready Red for heavy-duty use or Ever-Ready Gold for extra heavy-duty, you're asking for all you can get. Real, red-blooded, long-life batteries. For heavy duty use or ever ready gold for extra heavy duty, you're asking for all you can get. Real, red blooded, long life batteries. heavy-duty use or ever-ready gold for extra heavy-duty, you're asking for all you can get. Real, red-blooded, long-life batteries. Hello, and welcome to Wonderworld. A special effects man is a person who builds strange props and costumes for film and TV, and TV commercials. One Australian special effects creator is Austrian-born Helmut Fischer. He's considered to be the best in his field and in this country, and you'll see why in a moment. He can create jumping peanuts, talking cows, all sorts of mad things. I asked reporter Sandy Major to drop into Helmut's workshop. 